Dan Finch, I'm on the Mac course, so I'm studying music and audio technology. And I, the title of my dissertation was DAW control using gesture capture technology. Uh, so my project is about gesture based movement. So gestures using two hands, controlling a DAW software, which is music editing software. So essentially, it's using movements that are sort of synonymous with things that you would actually do when you're mixing music physically. So it's sort of bridging a gap between actual physical movements and controlling software. So through my literature review and research, I was looking for the best method of gesture capture and if it's actually applicable to music software, if it's actually useful. So at the moment I've got, it was a, uh, I used a leap motion controller in the end, which is uh, a scale based system. It sort of consists of two infrared cameras. And it, uh, I've chosen it on a, for a, f a range of factors, sort of price, uh, availability to the average user, kind of thing, ease of use. And in, yeah, it turned out that it actually was really good for just two hand gestures, is what it's meant for. So as a whole, it's a, it sort of turned out that using gestures is actually, actually is quite a viable option. And there are a lot of two handed gestures that can be used to sort of create a system that actually works quite well. Okay, to, to prove my hypothesis that was max, uh, using gesture-based control is actually useful for DAW control. Uh, we went about, I went about using Max MSP as the coding language, which was a, it's a visual-based program based in C++. And then to feed data into that, I used the Leap Motion Controller, which is a, a desktop device which is quite available to the average user. So using these two things, I sort of measured hand movements. I'd, I measured... Um, Sort of the time it took to implement the system within the DAW, and the time it takes to sort of get everything running, and how like acclimatization time it was called. And uh, I also measured accuracy, so how accurate people can get to a sort of target value. And it uh, yeah sort of came out pretty well. It turned out to be quite an accurate system. Okay, so through the testing, I did uh, set target values in Max MSP. So. The scaled values it sort of comes across, so obviously in a musical context it, it uses MIDI values, which is 0 to 127, so 128 values. But using the Leap Motion Control, it has a range of, it measures in millimetres. So there's 600 millimetres across and 600 each way. So you could measure, I had to scale the values and then I got people to see how accurate they could get with all of the gestures in, um, in Max MSP. And then in Logic as well, which is the program I was testing with, they I got them to try and achieve a target value as well. And then once they'd finished all that, they just had to fill out a questionnaire, which sort of explained how it was and how the system went. Uh, my research proved that realistically you can actually have a, a gesture-based system for an affordable price that is, is actually achievable for most users. Um, it does, what came of it was that it was, for certain aspects, it was a, a really fantastic system and it was quite interesting to use. But for, um, I think, as an all-encompassing DAW controller, which was what I was originally aiming for, I think it, it probably wouldn't achieve that, but I think in conjunction with other things, it could actually be a really useful system for a lot of people. Obviously, the, the feeling of freedom, but obviously, uh, I think having three years worth of work under your belt, sort of, it, it really does feel like you've actually done something, sort of. It's a bit of a proud moment, sort of, handing it in. And it's nice to have actually managed to find something that actually works, so it actually... It does what I wanted it to do. It might not do everything I wanted it to do, but it, it does complete the tasks that I had in mind when I set out designing the program. So it was just a great feeling for me.